Hi. So I wanted to show you what you can do with whenever you're harvesting your magazines and you have all these bits um, cut from the magazine. Um, yeah, you could throw it into a recycle bin for sure, but um, there is another way that you can actually use them and make something nice out of them. Um, so I'm just going to show you some examples like um, what I did with them. I have a few different ones. So this is one of the papers that I glued um, just regular printer papers and grid papers together, if you can see. So here is a bit of magazine. So I glued them together with a little bit of PVA on the edges. And I made a Franken page collage thingy, however you want to call it, doesn't matter. And then I, since some of them were already um, colored, um, I just used some circles cut from magazine and stuff to glue it on top of it. I used my clear gesso. I don't use Mod Podge because I don't have it, but it's like clear gesso. Um, that you can do at home as well. Uh, mine is with cornstarch, glue and water and just made uh, the right consistency. And then I went over everything when I already had all the elements on. You can see here it's the butterfly that I um, took from the magazine. And then I think it was after I put some of the um, color to it. Uh, this is some packaging and then this is again some packaging just some leftover paints here you can see some blocks of pattern that i think it was from the clothing or something so i took that out from the magazine as well and when you touch it since i used um clear homemade gesso it feels solid like one layer one piece of paper um, so that was my first play too, I think. Um, and you can use any, anything together. This is just, I think I'm going to build more, um, maybe cut it down and then build some more blocks to it. That's first. And then I went to another, you know, I had way more, you know, um, here is one of the magazines, as you can see. This is the cover of the magazine because it's the really glossy one. Can you see the shine? Yeah, you can see it. So I just stuck them together. I didn't even care about if, you know, they're too glossy. So everything from the magazine that I cut out, that it's not a whole piece of paper, the whole sheet, the whole page, I made um, lots and lots of this kind of collages. So this is what came out of this one. I put just some paint on it with a credit card I think and stenciled all over it so you can still see here are some hair and here are some dresses but I really don't care I love it as it is I just love it uh, you can see the shine of the magazine and you see that so I really 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 love it and I'm hoarding it <laughs> This is the only one that I did uh, with um, stenciled hearts. Really like it and uh, just hoarding it for some special occasion or something. Okay, next one. Then I went to do some of the half sheets of papers. I said, okay, maybe I can do something with them. So this is just a regular um, advertisement that I got in the mail. And I took one sheet off and... It's a boom. I don't even know what I was doing here, but I used all of the scraps of really brittle um, book pages and some scraps of green um, book pages. I don't know what I uh, what I was thinking that time. And I here you can see there is some, you know, those edges from notebooks. I think initially it was everything was blue, and then I put some color on. Um, but I think I'm going to use some of the clear gesso over it and stencil over it. That's my next thing to do here. Okay, that one. Again, you know, different pieces, all weird scraps from actually cutting the, harvesting the magazines, everything together. And I get this. So 
again use some acrylic some white just mix them together and just put them on uh, however you know and I tried sometimes to cover the images so I would get just one nice color and then I stencil like crazy stenciled everywhere and I'm going to use um, clear gesso again over it so it has some texture if you go through but it's really smooth so it's really nice silky texture and the back and it's all flat you know mainly flat and I will use these for tags for sure <laughs> next okay here is um, strips this is a regular just um, newspaper I mean regular we have peach newspapers as well <laughs> so as you can see a little bit of color from my brushes and I just stack them together with a little bit of uh, PVA and glue them down these are book pages you know cut cut of ants and I stamped all over them and I think I wanted to finish but I guess I'm gonna use this before that's gonna happen so um, yeah and this is cardboard that I painted what did I do with that it was a huge rectangle and I just cut cut it off because I was making some ADCs so I even use those thick bits and I don't mind that they give you more texture I just I just like it like that <laughs> so um, if not if I'm not gonna finish this side I'm gonna cut it off and then just make one paper out of this okay next one this one you've probably seen this one uh, this is one of the thin advertisement that I got in the mail and I use this for the junk journal um, challenge so what I did is I painted in um, one page used some gesso to cover a little bit and I painted red and then I put some of the um, squares of book pages that's all that I did here and I think I would put more just a different color and overlay them um someday in the future i guess <laughs> but um that's the idea of it this was actually glued down to a thicker um cardstock thingy um this is just a flyer of some, some sort i have two more because i don't know where others are i just think that i put them somewhere and i don't know where this is one page of semi-glossy advertisement as you can see <laughs> So I turned it into something way different. I didn't, this time I didn't cover the background. I let it be as it is like a brownish pinkish way. And I used some of the strips and papers that I had. This is like pick packaging paper. Um, and I used those and white strips um, of paper. I think I was tearing a lot of uh, embellishments that time and I put them aside to make something out of it so this is actually what happened to it and I don't think I'm gonna put anything over it I think it's just gonna stay as it is and you utilizing as a cover you know or a tag or something so another really nice way to to have two colors or three colors that could go as well um, to cover a page newspaper whatever you have let me put it up close so you can actually see what kind of thingy I really love this side so I would do the same thing if I would have a solid color on the back as well that would be really fun and I just tacked them down I didn't really glue them like 20 times so they would really stick I just tacked them down with a little bit of PVA and then went over the whole page with clear gesso and that really made it stick and it's really smooth texture I love it the last one that I have here is this one um, I don't know where others are like I said but these are some pages from flyer here this is that magazine front front cover that it's really glossy I used some tissue napkin thingy because I wanted to secure this just this piece of paper and I had some scraps so I just put it on and as you can see so many small small little bits so this is like two colors pink and blue smoosh them on I need to go like you can see here 
I need to use my um, clear gesso to go over it because I didn't yet. It's um, more or less raw, a little bit of acrylic paints, but that's all, and stenciling. So I want to do that too, and then I'm going to start using it. Hopefully I can... Can you see here? Sorry, I was out of focus. Can you see here? The here is uh, lifting up. So I would put a dab of glue or just use gesso to go all over it. And it's going to stay together without any problem. So actually what you're making is just making new papers out of scraps. Like they are doing it forever, but those are mainly nice pieces of scrapbook paper and, you know, those kind of things. But nobody's actually looking all of the scraps that we make from just plain magazines, you know? So I think this is really awesome idea and you can make a lot of them. I usually just um, save the scraps, like scraps like these, right? I just uh, save them in a, a box and then whenever I feel I wanna do something, but I don't know what, I'm gonna start gluing them together, uh, one right next to another. I think I just did that here. Can you see? I just glue an edge to another edge. And if it's too big, um, I try to make and fit to get a rectangle out of it. Eventually, if not, I'm going to just cut it down to some size. And then uh, the cut edges are going to be attached to another <laughs> pieces of... Uh, glued papers together. I think I put them all on the screen for you. Okay, so for now I have these. I already used them, but I just wanted to, you know, I want to recycle even things that we actually put in the bin. I think it's a fun project. However you put it, it's always fun to glue and to paint and to stencil and to use what we make. Um, and still it's really hard for me to use these because <sighs> they're so cute. <laughs> At least they are cute to me and very special to me. Um, hope you really like this and you're gonna try it out. If you do try something out, please share it with me. I would love, love, love to see it. I have a Facebook group called Starving Emma Outside the Box. So you can join and just show me your creations. I would really like to see it because I get inspired even with just one image or sometimes just with a few words and then my mind just goes Poo! and then I start thinking about stuff and I want to create and do something. So I'm really hyped about this video because I think it's a great idea. We can save way more paper now, can't we? <laughs> So thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.